I grew up surfing from when I was 12. I got drafted into the Army, and I was in the Army with guys who grew up in New York and had finished college already or already on their career path. They missed an opportunity when you're young to just revel in your physicality and your sexuality and your ability to just kind of go and touch life. I'll be glad till the day I die that I grew up at the beach in California. I'm Lee Clow, and uh, you're at the Los Angeles office of TBWA Shiat Day, and I'm worldwide chairman and chief creative officer. I'm adopted, and I was raised by two kind of, you know, lower middle class, hardworking people who cared enough to kind of continue to encourage, well, take your art classes. Mrs. Rice told you to take your art classes. I painted a boat and I made the smoke go the right way out the chimney. So I always had it in the back of my mind that somehow my art was going to be my way of making a living. When I got into the business, I was working for an agency who represented everything that's wrong with the advertising. It was run by a guy who basically was unscrupulous. He would do anything to keep a client. He would do anything to win a client and he basically had mostly contempt for the entire creative department. It was this, how big do you want the logo, sir? All they cared about is milking money out of clients and giving them what they want, that kind of formula that makes for so much of the bad work in our industry. And it almost seemed deceitful to allow clients to dictate mediocre work and then pay us for it when we aspired to do something better. So I was the head of the escape committee because it was kind of like, we can't stay here. This is, this is the devil's workshop. We have to find our way into agencies that believe in the right stuff. And I was lucky enough to discover Shiat Day, which was just being born at this time. And Jay Shiat and Guy Day were the pirate spirit, rebel spirit that I was trying to champion over at this dopey agency. And by the time I left there, they basically said, don't allow him back in the building. They realized that I was kind of an insidious cancer in their, in their company because I was preaching the rebellion of creative people rise up. They can't do shit unless we make ads for them. You know, we should be in charge. <laughs> California white wine and real fruit blended in a tub at a party on the beach. And now that original blend comes in a bottle. California Cooler, the real stuff.